What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Roy. Welcome back to AM Island Vibes. Today we're gonna to be doing a little reaction video. Today we're gonna to be reacting to Will Smith. Rest in peace, Uncle Phil. All right. I don't know if you guys ever watched the reunion they had on HBO, but I watched it. I must say, that brought back so much memories. Well, you know what the funny thing is? I promise you, I watched Fresh Prince of Bel Air. At, it, at least 10 times the whole season from start to finish straight to so the fact that they was able to have everybody come back you know it's pretty good and boy Ashley still fine for old lady Ashley is Ashley fine boy she can just squeeze any day but today we're gonna be reacting to Uncle Phil oh gosh Will Smith my bad you know so let's get into it Uncle Phil Avery James. He was a massive rock of a man physically, spiritually, and emotionally. How do you say one thing, right? How do you say the one thing you learned from James? James Avery was the glue. The glue that held us together in, in his own eccentric way. <laughs> James was a big teddy bear. For me, he what I tell you? She can get some squeeze. What I treasure from James Avery is his love of jazz and his love of the black culture. He was very invested in making sure that the young people knew what had come before them. James Avery Look had jazz. such a big impact on me because I think he was one of the guys that would realize that this wasn't what I was trying to do, but he would make me feel comfortable. James Avery was was my sounding board for all of my, my career decisions. He was Uncle Phil, father, protector, teacher, defender, preacher to everybody. Everybody on the set was his kids. He held that position proudly. James Avery took being my father very seriously. He called me daughter, you know. He always, way after the show, he didn't call me Karen, he called me daughter. James is the heart of the show. He is the one that brings it all together. He is the base of that show. I have very special memories of James. Very special memories of, 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 of shows that we did together, especially some of the the intimate moments that we, we had together as parents. Uncle Phil, James Avery, was the one who everybody looked to you can see that for too. the stability, the integrity, the guidance. We knew that he knew the answers or could guide folks to the answers. He was the one that was really, he was pushing me to um, elevate my craft as an actor and he used to say how much money do you need how much money how much money you need more money you need more money hone your craft you're going to find yourself in your craft the things that have meant a lot to people over the years um, interpersonal um, connections between the characters or um, <laughs> Even when we dealt with social issues and, and cultural issues, like James was the historian on set and he would guide it and he really didn't play. One of my fondest memories and what I looked forward to every Friday shooting night was meeting him at his dressing room door with the music blasting down the hall and he and I grabbing each other and dancing down the hall to the back to the stage. We danced and danced right. and danced, and I, I just adored it. Uncle Phil, that character was a father to America. If you yes. had to look through all of television, the world. history of television, not just um, America. Probably, in my opinion, the number one dad in all of television history. <laughs> we thought Bill Cosby was. Hmm. The base of the pudding pop. Yep. Uncle Phil, rest in peace. 
man, that really hit me, man. When I first heard them back, I think like in 20, 2015, 2014, 2016, around the time, I think 2015. That was very tough, man. I I, I, I know what they're going through. It's like, it's like you felt like you lost one of your own, too. Yeah, but you guys should go check it out, man. The little clip where everybody come back, the reunion, it was actually pretty nice. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video, man. Smash that like button, subscribe, all that good stuff down below. And until we meet again, just remember to be happy, be blessed. Love your, love your loved ones. This time of being Thanksgiving, all that good stuff. Just love your people. With that being said, remember, the world is yours. Peace.